A few months ago, I made a video going through the features of this Renogy portable folding solar panel. Since it's been over six months of moderate use, I wanted to share with you a long-term use review. Let's get straight to the most important question you might have about this panel. Can it produce the 200 watts it's rated for? My answer to that is, I think so. Sometimes my battery system seems a bit inaccurate with the readings it gives. For example, one day it claimed it was taking in 190 watts from the 175 watt panel I have on the roof of my van. Is that possible? I don't know. There have also been one or two moments where I connected the 200 watt folding panel in conjunction with the 175 watt panel and my battery system read slightly over 400 watts coming in. Is that possible? I also don't know. But that's what my system read, and I don't have any other equipment to test it. But from my point of view, the panel never seemed to take in too little power for what it's rated, so it seems to work just as expected. The panel has a water resistance rating of IP65, but if it starts to rain, I take it down and generally only bring it out on days where there's very little chance of rain in the forecast. Let's talk about assembling the unit. This part can be a little cumbersome if you're doing it on your own, but this is how I do it. I lay the unit on the ground and gently wedge my toe between the unit. There's Velcro holding the panel together, so it usually doesn't open as easily without my toe in there holding it down. Then I lift the handle all the way up until it's fully extended and begin gently laying each partition of the panel on the ground. If the sun is very high in the sky like in the summer, I'm usually okay with leaving it like this. But right now, it's November, and the sun lingers low in the sky all day. It's currently 8.20 in the morning, and when it's flat, the panel isn't even registering input. It's probably taking in some power, but this unit only starts registering input at 15 watts. Let's set it up angled towards the sun for better efficiency. I hold the panels with my arms pretty much as wide as they go to prevent the panel from bending in any way it probably shouldn't. And then, with a little help from my knees to hold the panel in position, I begin pulling out the legs from their velcro attachment. This is probably the most annoying part, but I manage to get it done well enough, though it does feel like I'm playing a game of twister. Now with the panel upright, it's taking in around 110 watts compared to the less than 15 watts when it was laying flat. Having a panel like this can help a lot to take in wattage during the winter months that I otherwise wouldn't be able to due to the panel on the roof being flat at all times. This little pouch is where the charging cables with the MC4 connectors come out of, and they are a little short. You also find three ports to charge USB devices. There are two USB-A inputs and one USB-C input. To disassemble the panel from here, I just lift the top a bit so that all the legs collapse into the Velcro, and with luck they all stick and I can lay the panel fully flat. From here, simply lifting one end allows me to collapse it gently into itself. Taking the panel down is much easier than setting it up. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I originally bought it to give another shot at having a small fridge in the van, but we gave up on that idea. We decided the fridge we had was just not working great for us, so we took it out. But it was not because the panel failed us. I didn't want the panel outside of the van all day, making it abundantly obvious that we are van lifers. Nowadays the panel serves as an emergency panel, and it has worked very well as such, now that the winter is coming and the sun stays low in the sky. For example, we just had two days without much sun, and we had to use the laptop quite a bit for editing. That has brought our battery system down to about 30%. But I knew those cloudy days were forecasted to be followed by two days of mainly sun, so I wasn't too worried and I'll be using this portable folding panel to take in as much energy as possible, and as early as possible, likely fully charging my 1,500 watt hour battery by the end of the first sunny day, and if it doesn't, it'll likely finish the job on the second day. So far, I've had no problems with this panel, and unless you get a defective model, I think you'd be pleased with it as well. So I feel confident recommending it if you think it fits your needs. I hope you enjoyed this review. Like the video if you found this helpful, and consider subscribing. It really helps small YouTubers like me. Bye bye.